Hey friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to access the HDMI pass through input in the TV view widget of your Android TV app. So basically, we will see how we can get the whatever the input comes through HDMI in your TV app. So let's begin. We will create a new project. Name of the project, we can give it anything. Say for example, HDMI input in TV app. And this sort of things I leave as it is. Click finish and wait for the environment to load. It may take a while to load the environment. When the environment is loaded, so once the environment loads, the code is pretty simple. First, we'll design our layout. So I will go to the XML file, and over here, by default, this in the phone view, I'll change it to the television view, uh, the layout, so it's more realistic to what I'm going to design. I'll probably put a button to start the HDMI input source, so that will be my trigger. So I'll just name it so HDMI. You can name it anything; it doesn't matter. And give some constraints. So yeah, because it's a constraint view layout, that's why. Uh, text you probably I'll keep it to print uh, the status. I'll just name this anything. So you text view and initially let it be hello world. But yeah, I'll change the status in the uh, my Java code. And now I'll need something called TV view. So for TV view, I'll go to the XML layer code itself, like the code part of this layout. And over here, I'll manually add the tag for the TV view. So that is basically Android.media.tv view. Yeah. So width and height, you can probably uh, give something right now for the example 100 dp. And you also give some 100 dp. I'll do the actual uh, layout in the, the layout design, and then I will end it like this. So there are some errors. So first, let me do one thing. Let me go to the layout part and see what are the errors. So I think one is the constraint error. So fine. I'll do one thing. First, I'll I I'm better doing it in the design part rather than in the code part. So I know what. Dimension I need here, so yeah, this should come in somewhere in between. Then I'll give the required constraints over here, and now the error has gone. So if I go back to my code once again quickly, so this whole things are falling into place. The other thing which I need is probably an ID to be given to this TV view, so I can give this ID as TV view itself, so that I can fetch it from the Java code. And now over here, what I'll do is I'll create two class view. One is a text view, and the other one is a TV view. TV view, and both these class variables I'll associate with the respective widget. So find by ID r dot ID dot text view, and the TV view also same. I'll do TV view. find by ID r dot ID dot TV view perfect. So once this is done, I'll also create a method public white button show HDMI view view and now I'll go back to my layout so that I can associate this button click on click uh, attribute to that particular method which I have just now defined. So that's all for my layout part. I think I'm done. So I'll go back to the code now and I'll do the actual logic implementation over here. In terms of logic implementation, I'll first of all, first create something called UD. So what I can do UD, UD, and UD I can create using something. Okay. I think I should press Alt Enter. Yeah, so that it includes the required library. Now I can use something called TV contract and then here's something called build. UD build channel UD pass through and then string I have to give the input ID over here. So input ID since I'm no I'll hard code. If you don't know then watch my other videos which I have shown how to fetch the input ID for your uh, Android TV. So this will be Android logic dot please note this uh, input IDs are different for different TV so you will have to get it for your TV services dot H M I one input service H W 
five. Yeah, but more or less it will look similar in terms of uh, structure, but the cat as a uh, could be different. So please check. I am repeating. Please check in your uh, respective TV for the input IDs. Please watch my other video. I will put it in the description folder below uh, the link for my other video. Now once I have that UD, what I will do, I will just same UD to create a tuning. So tune and here the inputs which I need is input ID and the channel UD. So I think the channel UD I, we have already created and the input ID is the same thing. So okay, so since this is being repeated, I will do one thing. I will control X, I will pull it out and create another class variable for this private string string input id yes so that I can reuse it at both the places very easily yeah so this will be one place and then over here the first argument is I think the string and the second argument is the ud plus so u is what I need and that's what I guess and then probably we can use text view to print some things say for example success so that's all okay now to run this app what I'll do is I'll run it in my actual TV directly so I'll first connect to the actual TV so I'll go to the terminal and to connect to actual TV this is the command so it's got connected to my MI TV and it has come up so I'll Try to run and run that and see if it comes up. But please note, uh, although this will work in the actual TV, but in the emulator, since I'm doing the screen mirroring, it may not show the actual video in the TV view in my emulator. So I will switch to the uh, I'll switch the camera so that I can point to the physical my physical TV to show you the video part. But first let the app come up so app has come up now if i click this button so it says success over here if you're able to see over here however now this is coming here because the uh, hdmi uh, input cannot be seen in the screen in the mirrored uh, part so i'll switch the camera now to my actual tv yeah over here i switched my camera to the actual tv and if you can see the app is running and success is there and on the screen, the HDMI input, I have done the mirroring of my uh, laptop where I have just put like this is simple HDMI presentation. So I hope it's visible. So that's all I wanted to show how easy it is to show the HDMI input on your on the TV view widget of your Android TV app. So I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put it in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.